So I just finished my first um, box cooker, solar box cooker. Um, what I did is this was a tall box. It came up to here, and uh, I wanted a little, a little bit lower so I could put a small pot in here. So I cut the um, the lid off, all the the uh, wings that close it, and they actually fit perfectly on the width. So I can jam them in here. I put some black um, construction paper on there so the sun uh, is absorbed. And then I cut down until I reach the height that I want for my pot, and then I use these as the mirrors. So I'm going to put a piece of glass on top and these are going to come up and reflect extra sunlight into the bottom. Now it's well insulated. It has two layers of insulating cloth that has this nice foam and then there's the cardboard of the box and also another layer of cardboard um, from the top. So I use some rope and um, four clothespins in order to um, pull on the flaps, the mirror flaps. So I, I need a steeper angle. As the sun comes down, I want it to reflect and then go into the box. Um, they were lying too low naturally. So this is good because I can just open the clothespin and adjust the string. Uh, it's difficult to adjust one side rather than the other, so I have to have a better way of adjusting it later, but for now this is working really well. Um, and our temperature is 70 degrees right now. Really good. The box cooker I made in about an hour is at 100 degrees Celsius. So it works really well. There's a lot of improvements that I can make. You can use double pane glass. I can insulate it better and I can use larger mirrors. So it's really easy to cook. Uh, you can build this and you can cook for many years without using any kind of electricity or um, wood or gas or anything like that. So I really think it's great. So the solar cooker is at 105 degrees and the sun is shining through those clouds. Amazing. So I have this large potato. I'm going to cut it up into cubes uh, and I'm going to put it in water and I'm going to cook it in the solar cooker. So it's going to be like a small stew that I'm going to make. So I cut up the potato. I'm going to add um, water and put them both in the can inside the solar cooker. So this is a can for the solar cooker. It's extremely hot right now. It's about 120 degrees Celsius. Or more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this water, half a liter of water, and my potatoes. I'm going to put it in here, put it back into the solar cooker, which is now preheated, and we should be able to cook. There it is. So I'll have this lid on top so that it won't boil over. I'm worried about the steam affecting the glass, so I'm going to do a test uh, to see how well it cooks and how long it takes. Uh, potatoes are one of the more difficult things to cook. They really take a lot of heat uh, to cook through. So I had the potatoes cooking, um, I had them slow cooking for two hours and it's still, I let it cool down for a while and it's still way too hot to touch. So this can is definitely, definitely around boiling temperature. Let me just take it inside. There you go. There you go, nice solar cooked potatoes. They're nice and nice and soft. Just cut through them nicely. So this you could easily make a stew like this. So I just had it basically unattended for two hours. Dog eating solar potatoes. Yummy.